Hey everyone, welcome to Generative AI for Testers course and in this video we are going to understand the correlation between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and generative AI. So we'll cover these concepts briefly again. So for example, we'll understand about the artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, generative AI briefly and then we'll conclude with the relation of how these all terminologies and concepts are related together. So the first thing is artificial intelligence. What exactly is AI? So artificial intelligence as the name itself, it has the artificial and intelligence. So combining or making the machine intelligent artificially. Now, we as a human being have the natural ability to learn by seeing things around us, by analyzing, by our intuitions, by listening to other people's thoughts and what they have experienced. So we are by far, or humans are by far the most intelligent species on the earth. Now when we try to mimic the same sort of intelligence in machine, that is what artificial intelligence is. Now we are not at all close to what human beings can do because humans are creating these intelligent system and that's where any intelligence that is being introduced in the machines in the software is artificial intelligence. So AI or artificial intelligence is a field of computer science which focuses on building machines that can think, learn and then make decisions just like we human beings do. The field, this computer science field is trying to mimic or trying to make machines intelligent the same way human beings learn they are trying to replicate similar intelligence or similar mechanism in the machine so that machines can learn and become intelligent and provide answers and provide the capabilities or machines can help us in some sort of similar way as we get help from the human beings. Now as a human being we have natural ability we have the brain that can analyze the, the things that are in the surrounding that can learn based on what our parents have taught in the childhood based on what we saw around us now if we talk about the machine machine doesn't have the natural ability so within the machine ai will help us to embed or create that artificial ability to learn and that's where couple of other topics or couple of other terminologies we need to understand. So this is briefly what AI is. Now what is machine learning? Now machine learning is the subfield of AI, subfield of artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is the umbrella term, the broader term. Machine learning is subset of it, is a subfield of artificial intelligence that enables computers to learn from data and make decisions or predictions without being explicitly programmed for every task. So when we talk about machine learning, as human beings learn, as a human being, we do not have any predefined programming being done that if this is the case, this should be always the output. We are not wired that way. We learn based on the situations, based on the data, based on the circumstances. We then analyze the situation and respond. Similarly, machine learning is the subfield of AI wherein the purpose of machine learning is to enable the machines to learn the way human beings learn based on providing them lots of lots of data and then making them uh, making the machine learn based on the data and algorithm so that machines can also do the predictions without being explicitly programmed for each and every logic. Now if you talk about the traditional AI and the current phase where the AI is at, traditional AI was more of a programmed logic wherein the algorithms were predefined and the outcome was not as dynamic and as original as you get it today. So that's where machine learning, it's not defining those algorithms and predictions and logic up front. It's basically training the model on large data set so that machines can analyze and learn themselves as we human beings do. So that's machine learning. Now moving to the how machines learn as a human being. Say for example, when we were kid, we were shown a couple of fruits and then after seeing a couple of fruits again and again, our brain got wired that this is apple, this is mango and this is orange, right? And any other fruit, for example. And based on that, we learned by seeing 
different kinds of apple around us and then that learning and circumstances enabled us to memorize that yes if this is the shape this is how the apple looks doesn't matter if we have got a different color and different type of uh, apple because we have learned based on different varieties of apple and varieties of mangoes we now can easily analyze and identify which fruit is that that's that's how human beings have learned now how machines learn machine learning works by teaching computers to learn from data now as human beings we might not be required to learn from large data set but in order to make machines learn a large set of data set is required so thousands and millions of data set is being fed into the machine so that machine can see analyze different types color variations of fruit and then based on that they can learn and in case in future after the learning you get another or you ask the machine some uh, to identify the fruit based on its previous learning from the large data set they can answer that particular question similar to the way human beings learn so machine learning algorithms analyze the patterns in data then they build models based on those pattern and improve over the period of time and as you process more data the algorithms and the patterns improve over the period of time so like we as human being we practice as we practice more as we do more reading more practicing we learn more similarly machine learning also happens the more data that you feed in the more learning will happen and based on these patterns the machine will improve over the period of time when more data is processed now moving to the deep learning what exactly is deep learning so deep learning is again subset of machine learning so machine learning is subset of ai deep learning is subset of machine learning now deep learning is a powerful subset of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks with many layers as human beings we know our brains or we have neurons so any information that we want to process passes through the neurons to our brain and we analyze and we are able to learn and identify different types of fruits different type of knowledge and intuitions so similar mechanism is when implemented in machine learning then that is known as deep learning so deep learning learns from massive amount of data and makes intelligent decisions or predictions so how deep learning works by introducing artificial neural network when we say artificial neural network you will see that there is an input layer there is an output layer and then there are multiple hidden layers so that's how the neural network is similar to what human brain wiring is all about wherein you have lots and lots of neurons interconnected with each other so the input layer takes the data and then it passes on to the hidden layer which then analyzes the data and based on some weighing mechanism it then processes and learns from that data set and then passes it further to the further layer which is the another hidden layer and then finally the output will be produced so this is how deep learning works the core concept is that having the artificial neural network in place if machine learning is done using artificial neural networks then that is deep learning so if we talk about the difference between tra traditional algorithm or uh, machine learning so in machine learning you also have artificial neural network but then there could be other algorithms or other approaches that were used before artificial neural net network is the recent one and very powerful for the deep learning or for the ai that we have or that we know nowadays so in the traditional algorithms we had input we had certain rules and then we used to get the output but in neural network you have the input and you have the input layer and the output layer you get the output and within the neural network you have the hidden layers which then process the information and learn from the large data set of information that you feed into those algorithms so moving to the generative ai now generative ai is the subset of deep learning so it's the most core part so ai is the umbrella term and everything is within the umbrella within the ai now generative ai as the name itself suggests generate or ai that can generate right so generative ai uses the models like transformers generative adversarial network and a diffusion model to generate new data based on what data you have provided and fed to the the models 
gen ai or generative ai can create new data for example new text new images new videos so based on what learning the model has done with the existing data set generative ai can produce data accordingly or absolutely unique and new data set or new data every time you ask question by the generative ai model so gen ai creates new data that mimics the style structure or logic based on patterns learned from existing data now you have to make sure that gen ai will produce results based on what it has learned or what data set it has learned upon if you have fed the data saying apple is a banana then the gen ai will produce result when you show the picture of apple it will answer you that this is banana okay so it all depends how clean and clear the data set is when you are training these gen ai models okay now let's understand about the correlation last topic how are the ai ml deep learning and generative ai correlated with each other so ai is the broader term umbrella term within artificial intelligence you have machine learning right so machine learning can be with the artificial neural network or the other algorithms now within machine learning deep learning is there deep learning is subset of machine learning when we say deep learning any learning that is based or that uses artificial neural network which is very close to what how human brains work then that is deep learning deep learning requires large and large millions and millions of data set to learn then generative ai is subset of deep learning again uses artificial neural network and it generates the new data new output based on the learning that it has performed by using the existing data set so that's what generative ai so this is the core correlation between the artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning and generative ai so that's all for this tutorial in the next video i'll cover another topic on generative ai for testers thank you see you in the next